right, so uh, if I sound frustrated a little bit, it's because I am. I mean, I buy new equipment uh, so that I can count on it. Uh, that tiller has been down twice positive, maybe even a third time, that coyote tiller. So anyways, let's see if I can lift the disc. I gotta be careful up on the ceiling up here and the door with that boom. So let's see how this goes. All right, that went pretty smooth. Now let's find a spot for it on the flatbed trailer and load some more stuff after that for planting. Not half bad. All right, so the goal here is uh, I'm gonna try and cheat one trip. Behind that, I'm gonna put the ATV, the drag, and the sprayer, and maybe, maybe even the cultipacker so that I could plant right away if I have all the stuff. All right, I'm all loaded up, and uh, believe me, I was really close to a blow up rant if you wanna see what a bad day's like, but uh, I'm gonna refrain. I'm doing all this solo, but when I do get paid, when I either sell a property or get a good lease or get other people to hunt and have a good time, whatever, you'll know it was well earned. That's all I'm going to say. So I'm going to see if I can get something planted because, of course, we got thunderstorms coming tonight, which it's a lose-lose when you're battling weather. If I took a chance and I didn't plan anything... Uh, it would probably pour down rain and ruin my tillage and I'd have to retill and vice versa. So I'm going to try and get some stuff planted anyway, so let's go. So this is going to be the ultimate all-in-one tool that I'm taking out to the back part of the 211. Um, and this is going to be everything. I mean to plant high-quality plots, not just like throw and grow. So it's already dissed up, the three that I'm going to hit. I got the drag and the weight for the rough stuff and the big seed. Then I got the heavy cultipacker. I got the cedar on the front of the four-wheeler. And now I just got to load up the fertilizer and seed between here and here and make all one trip. We'll see if it works. Okay, I got fertilizer, fertilizer, wheat, oats, uh, wheat over there. Half bags of oats and wheat. Got three bags of small seed. The bin is already full of oats and wheat. And uh, one more full bag on this side. I think that's wheat. A lot of weight, but I think the old brute force can handle it. So let's hit the dusty trail. This ought to be interesting crossing a steep ditch with a thousand pound cult packer plus another few hundred. Man, easy rocks. Well, dead on it. 
second thing that's fallen off. All right, I got everything stacked back on there. Oh, jeez, a straight down nose dive. For the moment, crap. Well now, ain't this fun. Uh, I've tried backing it up a few times and it can only back it to that straight off drop. Uh, I might try to, to like back up with some, a little bit of force and get up that and then go full speed through this. I mean, I'm making it about halfway through this sand and that's it, look at how much more I got to go. And there ain't nothing to put a winch onto here on the front. Lovely. Come on, man. Well, that was not fun. Thank goodness for the uh, locking front differential. I had to take all the weight off and uh, ram it like five or six times, uh, getting a run downhill and making it. I got on a little bit of better ground here, but uh, it would have been fun to film, but I don't have time to play around to film right now, except for a quick recap. So let's reload up, try this again. All right, the ATV is overheating again. Uh, it does that a lot, but I got this one seeded with large uh, seed, okay? I got oats and wheat down. My plan was originally to finish one after the next, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the big seed and I'm going to go to the other three more plots, hit them all with big seed first, then come back and fertilize and drag them both or all of them and then do the cultipacking last and just make one circuit. That's the plan. Here's the drone view of uh, one of the beautiful plots that I'm about to plant. This is way back in the middle of nowhere. I mean, the highway's not that far. You could hear that, but as far as woods and, ter and uh, terrain and people and homes, it's uh, way out here in the middle of nowhere. So in case I don't get the drone up, here's your drone view from up high. All right, one of the three is completely done. Uh, it could have been done three steps ago, but uh, my plots grow tonnage. Um, probably, you know, double or triple the tonnage of, you know, let's say your average weekend food plotter. Only because I take all these extra steps um, for better soil preparation, basically. So what we're looking at is this half on my left is a brassica and wheat and oat plot. And then on the right is clover, chicory, and wheat and oat. So the goal is to establish a perennial on half of the plot for a permanent year round. And then an annual on the other half that you could switch up every year. So I'm going to see if I could finish them other two. Um, they're two-thirds done already. I could leave them if I want. Uh, they got the large seeds and they're fertilized. But I'm going to get over there if the buggy don't blow up and try and finish them out. So now I'm jammed in here. I don't know if you could see it, but this is all bent. Uh, that chain bounced off and now it's jammed between these really heavy steel Palta packers. Nice. Just finished the last one. And I skipped a couple of steps uh, dragging. I ended up just cultipacking. Um, but it'll work. You go over it twice instead of once. And then, you know, you're just going to hope for rain a little bit more. But it'll still grow quite nicely. Let's get out of here and see if we can make it home in one piece. <laughs> 